guys, Grixie96 here, uh, coming at you with a Minecraft video, specifically the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge, uh, something I've done off and on throughout the years, and it's usually been a lot of fun, but life gets in the way. But this month, life will not be getting in the way, so I am here today bringing you episode 1 of February 2017 Minecraft Hardcore Challenge, which is Ice Plains Survival. Um, it is a survive and thrive type of thing. Uh, hardcore world options. Seed for this one is 2153. Structures off. Large biomes. Boom. So, I have to survive and thrive in an ice plains biome. Um, and all of our permanent structures must be in there. So, Ice planes, perfect. So my first order of business is probably gonna be breaking some of this ice. Put some torches along the edge of the lake, break some of that ice. And have some usable water to fish in for food. Which means I shouldn't be sprinting around. Okay, but this isn't terrible. I just hope spruce is going to look good for some of the builds. But basically we are going to be surviving and thriving. As is the name of the challenge. So. First things first is. Going to be. Actually, I don't even need to use torches, really. I can use this area here, probably. Um, getting some basic tools built. Oh yeah, I forgot. I don't get all the achievements when I do it in the wrong order. Oh, crap. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Why? Okay. Here we go. Let's get focused now. I have some slabs for later on, I guess. Does that grow that fast? Holy crap. Do things just grow faster in Ice Plains? Maybe things grow faster in ice plains. But you know, this this water is pretty cold. So I'm gonna not do that for a long time here. Oh, come on. Um, apologies for no face cam on this video. I've been rearranging my computer setup and I don't have everything hooked back up because I want to get rid of the ugly tripod on my desk that's mounting that uh, cam border and I want to just kind of wall mount it like off to the side where it usually is but I just don't want to use all all of the desk space that the tripod takes oh I have dirt okay I was gonna say I'll use the crafting bench to get me the extra height but I don't need it No, I'm not going to make cobblestone slabs. So I'm not going to do that again. Break some of this stuff here. So trying to play this as like a... A hint of pseudo-realism here. Um this was really the type of environment I were in, I would be trying to find some sort of a cave that I could expand upon and use it to reflect natural heat and be close to a food source. 
So, I think for right now, this is about what we're going to be doing. It can be this area here. So I'm just trying to clear out some space here. Because it's keeping me pretty close to water. Which is good, because I'm going to need to do plenty of fishing. Um, like I said, pseudo-realism. <laughs> never have enough trees so once we get to this first night here I'm going to probably want to have some tools and weapons so that I can try to hunt down and kill a spider Am I out of wood? Oh no, I still have wood. Okay. Um, I don't need all of those as torches yet. But I'm going to want torches, so. I'm going to already start moving my base of operations into that little cave cutout. It's not the most secure thing in terms of mobs. But that's okay. That makes interesting, right? Um, <laughs> I could actually... Oh, that's not what I meant to do. The thing I wanted to do was that. That. Got a little bit of this area over here. Some headroom. Go under for a minute here to get some of this coal. Oh, there was coal right there. Whoops. Um, furnace time. Make two furnaces just because they're nice to have. Um, it's got to be coming up on nighttime, right? We must be. All right, so let's do this. Give us a little bit of mob protection. Doing clevery things. Trying to be clever here. Anyways. Alright, and that's kind of a tight space, so we're going to expand a little bit for now. We're going to kind of make this our central base of operations for the beginning part here, I think. So the only thing that won't protect us against is spiders. But that's okay, because we want some spiders to come in and try to get us. Actually, what we want to do is we'll leave that there. And this will be our panic room. Right, because if I get in there, I'm not in view of any skeletons or anything, so... That'll be kind of the panic room. We should still be able to fish over that. 
to move these already, though. And that should keep us reasonably safe. Just trying to get to nighttime so I can actually like start getting some food. One thing that would suck though is if I ended up with a creeper in here. Like, uh, out in the water there. Because um, I don't 100% know how explosions in water are handled anymore. I used to. But first things first. Make myself at least a stone sword. But probably... Should start getting... Digging... Try to find some more coal and iron, because that'll be important. And gravel, yay. That's not too much gravel, okay. Ah, that's a little bit of gravel. Dang it. Stop the gravel. I'd like to ideally find some iron before night to at least give myself a little bit of protection against mobs because I will need to go out and, like I said, kill a spider to get some food. Dang it. That's why the panic room exists. Jiggle peek. We're going to get daring. We're going to just go for it. I see a spider. Awesome. I don't know what those things are. Oh my god. What are those? Those are armored skeletons? Or are they camouflaged skeletons? I need more spiders. I don't have enough string. There's another spider I can deal with. Okay, now let's see if I can get back into the house. Because <laughs> I have fishing rods. So if I can get back into the house, I will just mine for the rest of the night. Oh, I hear arrows. Oh god. Strafe. Strafe. Panic room. Just to allow them to get off of my trail. Okay, we good. We good. 
We have fishing rod materials now. I think we have fishing rod materials. I could be stupid though. I hope it's that and not three string. We have fishing rod materials for now. Um, eventually we'll run out, but for now is good enough for me. We'll pop open F3 just so I can see, make sure we don't go past the day. Kind of high up, too. Okay. Still no iron, just our luck. But that's all right. Um, eventually we'll run into a cave or something. I'm just happy about the fact that we have a fishing rod. So, actually, let's do, let's go do some fishing, because we're getting pretty low on food now. So, we should probably take care of that. I just hope that's deep enough, like, far enough out water. Yes, perfect. We'll be able to catch fish from here. Nice. So let's just spend the rest of this episode catching fish. I don't know what those new sound effects are. That's weird. It was almost like a laugh. That's a freaky laugh. Okay. Just a little fishing spot. I don't think I can do much with a cloud and fish, unfortunately, though. Yeah, whatever those new sounds are creeping me out, man. It's like a weird laugh. I think it's probably those armored skeleton thingies. I haven't played Minecraft, honestly, in like so long. How on earth did in this little thing I catch a lily pad? That makes no sense. Fishing system in this game really reminds me of Toontown. Anyone else feel that? If you've actually watched this point of this boring video, um, let me know in the comments if this fishing system reminds you of the fishing system in Toontown. A little bit. Except for the obviously needing money for bait. That's obviously a bit different.
Okay, it's coming up on the daytime, so let's see if I can catch one last fish here before day one. Burning skeletons, that's always good. Nope, it's now day one. Alrighty. Well, that's going to do it for this one. Um, like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if for some reason you didn't like it. I can't really blame you for that. Uh, go ahead and head on over to BigBoxGamers.com. Check out the rest of the guys on Big Box. Head on over to MinecraftHardcoreChallenge.Weebly.com if you are interested in the Minecraft Hardcore Challenge. That is the website that has challenge information, players, past challenges, all that good stuff, as well as the rules. Um, you can also go check out um, Michael Deering at, I believe it is, um, Michael Deering MHC is the name of his YouTube channel. You can check that out as well to find out more stuff. And uh, in the comments down below, let me know what you think of the 21 by 9 video format. I've been experimenting with it lately. And I'm just not entirely sure what I think of it yet. So uh, let me know if you like it or if you don't. And that's it for this one. See you guys next time. Peace. That is all.